Takusuke Uesugi heard about the bombing and went into the city from Kaitaichi for rescue efforts, where he witnessed tragedies of the aftermath. He was 22. The battle with his health, including white blood cell disorders, continues. It was at a place called the Osaka Air Force Supply Base, Ujina Depot, Kaitaichi Storage. They said it was six kilometers. It was an effort just to get out to Hiroshima. From Kochi, I went to Osaka where formations were made. Just as there were those sent to Kobe, Hamada, Kamogawa, and Itozaki, I just happened to be put in a group bound for Hiroshima. We all got split up. Things came from all over Japan. Air Force related supplies. At the supply park, we would load ships with what they needed down south, such as supplies and ammunition. Well, then we'd load a ship, and it would set sail, never to return, because it sunk. So we ended up with loads of supplies. At least we have then. I don't know what happened to it all later. There was a roll call in the morning. After that was over, I guess there was no work to do. We were growing vegetables for food, so I was on the farm for about an hour, I think. I'm not so sure. Orders came to return immediately because a new type of bomb had been dropped on Hiroshima. I hurried back and was preparing to go with my headband on. The moment it dropped, I was outside the warehouse. Non-commissioned officers and those doing office work didn't have any barracks. It was a warehouse. Those inside, their hats were blown off. We used to use a magnesium flash to take photos at night. It was like that. Those who were facing the flash turned, and those with their backs to it guarded their necks. We ran to an air raid shelter. It wasn't five or ten minutes before we went back out. We saw cirrocumulus clouds billowing above Hiroshima, like this. It was beautiful, red, and the thundercloud was very pretty. This is incredible. It's so hot, we were saying. All we could think was that a new type of bomb had been dropped on one of the gas tanks in Hiroshima. Hiroshima had never had an airstrike before. At nine o'clock, no, maybe an hour had passed, I went into the city to help the victims. Oh, there were so many victims. I was in the distance, so I wasn't directly exposed, but we were affected because we went into the city. It was a hot day, being August 6th. In Kaitaichi, those rays fell upon us, purple ones, in a flash. My face got hot, you see. 
Soldiers had no idea what went on. An elder did say something about a new bomb. About an hour later, there were orders to go to Hiroshima for rescue, because a new type of bomb was dropped. Twelve or thirteen of us went on each truck, and there were only four trucks available. Our destination was Hijiyama. We went around this way from Kaitaichi because the railroad was out of commission. As you can see, Hiroshima has many rivers. We had to cross the first river to get into the city. When we got to the Taisho or Ozu Bridge, vehicles couldn't cross. We left the vehicle at Kamiacho and got in with stretchers. All those people, it was out of control. They asked for water, but I only had two or three cups full. There was nothing I could do. We asked those able to walk. The others, we carried on our backs and crossed the river. There were so many of them. It was totally impossible. The area behind Hiroshima Station was burning. But the station itself wasn't on fire, and neither was Hijiyama, going towards Ujina. There was a big department store in front of Hiroshima Station. Uh, let me see. Maybe it was just before Hachobori, Fukuya. Smoke was billowing from the windows as an hour had already passed. When there's fire, you can see in the sky huge balls of fire and tornadoes of flames. Everywhere. I remember telling the driver that our truck is going to catch fire and we won't make it back. Perhaps they weren't able to run, or maybe the army missed them, but there were two or three people in water supply tanks set for air raids on every corner. They were burnt and dead. We saw the shoes. Leather shoes don't burn easily, but the laces were burnt to a crisp. Only military men wore shoes. Perhaps there were orders, but we didn't touch the bodies. We carried the breathing to the truck, and we took them not to the army hospital, not to the Red Cross, but to an Ujina warehouse that was a shipyard hospital. If they were well enough, we sent them across to islands. But they all died there. They probably all died the following day. The number who died was incredible. We lined them up and asked the soldiers which unit they were from. We wrote down their names and their ranks, but they probably all died. Streetcars were all burnt. All I could think was, are the passengers all dead? Just then, 
an army doctor and three nurses were giving treatment in front of Hiroshima Station. I don't know, but I think they're all dead, too. In a time like this, this elite doctor was wearing a headband with three nurses he was giving treatment. Down by the river, people were searching for their loved ones. There were so many of them looking for those who might have jumped in fleeing from the heat. I think it was Fukuya department store. Dead bodies. When they burn, they curl up. They just couldn't have been that small when they were alive. The jailhouse was a ways away, but the inmates were quick. I think they were the first ones I saw. While we were on our way out to help, they were the first ones coming across the Taisho Bridge. They were all wearing purple clothes. We had never seen that. They were wearing handcuffs and connected by rods like this. They... They were the first, I think. At that time, they were crossing Taisho Bridge towards Aki. At the time, there was nothing. While I was in service and after returning, I didn't have a wife. I did think about it when I was told I couldn't father children. There are five of us here in Geiseimura. Three from Hiroshima and two young ladies from Nagasaki. I guess they're not so young anymore. The ones from Hiroshima are older, my age. Beyond Hijiyama, there was an Akatsuki communications unit. One of them came home after the war. He was burnt, though. The other one said that he had come ashore in Ujina the day after. Being the day after was like after the fire, so it was different for him. War is bad. Stupid people shooting each other are bad. If you fight a war with nuclear weapons, there'll be no more people. The one dropped on Hiroshima was small. The ones now are tens of times larger, I hear. A house near the bridge we crossed was slanted from the blast. Slate tiles fell from the warehouse in Kaitaichi. I think there's a difference between the way we think and the way those who were directly exposed do. Soldiers who were actually in the city say it was out of control. Even if they made it out alive. War is out of the question 
It's bad. You'll lose your house and everything. I have a lot of friends that got their Atomic Bomb Survivor's Health Handbook when they got seriously ill. You see, they got it because they had been in Hiroshima. The atomic bomb is bad. Nuclear weapons are unacceptable. War itself is at fault. Those two years older or two years younger than me went out of their way to enlist for the country just to lose their lives. Those who survived are dying in turn now, at 80 or 90. At one time, there were 600 Hibaksha living in Kochi. Now, there aren't even 300.